Now, why don't we grab an old beat up fan brush? Is YouTube working yet? It looks like it's working, okay. but I can't find it. <laughs> we'll just have to keep an eye on it and check it every once in a while. I do every week, my love. All right, so we're going to take the smallest little amount of white paint. Right? We're dragging it out all the way out, so there's not a whole lot on here. I don't need a whole bunch. Smush it out. So there's just a little. And let's kind of figure out somewhere to put some clouds in our Sunday seascapes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Let's go over here. I'm just going to do like these far off little squigglies, right? They're like... Um, it's like writing in cursive with your fan brush. Blah, 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 right? They'd be very messy about it. And then we can take our one inch brush with just the corner, right? Just the top corner and just kind of mess with it. Play with it. Start to smush it around. You'll see all the white start to appear and change color with all of those different colors that we put on there initially, right? Really, really neat looking. Okay, we're going to come back in. We're going to grab up a little bit more of that white, pull it out, and you can see that small amount of blue that we went over has now come onto our fan brush, which is not a big deal. Not a big deal. Make it easier for you guys to see the color, right? Pull it out very, very lightly so we don't have a whole lot. And then maybe if our thing is there, I mean, we can continue on and keep doing anything. We could go in here. Rod Miller is here. Eric Sheffield is here, which is weird because my brain wanted to say Sheffield. Sheffield, right? Let's throw a couple of these just all crazily off the top with the fan brush so you get these cool, like, right? Because it really doesn't matter what we do with these clouds. Just make sure you don't have a whole lot of paint. If you have too much, you can never take it away, right? So go in very lightly initially. And then if you need to go back and add more, then you can go back and add more. And again, Hi, just very lightly with our circles. Tanya's here. Welcome, welcome. Annette Babcock's here. Annette, hello. Very lightly with our circles. And as you can see, when we go over these different areas that we laid down, we'll have these different colors appear, which is really neat. Mary Schaefer is here. Welcome, Mary and everyone. Okay, I want to throw a little bit of dark underneath that most recent cloud. So we'll take our black and blue and crimson, just get a little bit. And then maybe we'll have like a bit of darkness underneath it, kind of make him, that'll be the bottom of it. You know what I mean? And then we'll go back and highlight it. Be nice. Very nice. Again, come in with our one inch brush. It just changes the whole color of that thing. Lovely. You can even come back in with our palette knife and just highlight little teeny tiny areas that we want to be brighter. Come back in with our one inch brush and just very lightly hit those areas and they'll just be a little bit extra, extra bright, right? It's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. What's up, babe? Uh, your page has allowed me to be a moderator and it gives me an anniversary following because I've obviously followed your business page since uh, the start. Right, since the but very for beginning. Some, but for some unknown reason, I'm not a fan of your page. <laughs> Oh, you never liked my page? No, it says top fan, and I'm not one. Oh, you're not a top <laughs> fan. All right, did we, you can see we put a little circle in there, kind of blended it out. <coughs> you guys know what's coming next. We're going to put our moon in there, right? Man, this, this brush is all dried out. Babe, can I shut this blind? It's giving a weird thing. Sure. Now That's all. There we go. Dog. Okay, just, a, just pulling it out very lightly again, just on one side. We don't need a whole lot of paint. So just very lightly, because we can always go back and brighten it up, right? Then we're going to come over here, push it flat, and then rotate the brushes without moving the brush, without picking it up. And we'll push it in there, and we get this little soft little moon back there. Very neat. Almost a perfect circle with not a lot of effort, right? It's really cool. Really cool. A couple little extra bits, because you got to have some extra bits. The light of the moon's kind of shining down on all of these clouds. It's really neat. I like it. Okay, we're going to do one more. And for this one, let's get a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the black. And we're going to come up here. And this will be the base of our cloud. Right, it's going to go up off the top. So that's going to be the bottom. All right, we're going to pull it out a little bit in different places so we can kind of see that this is a flatter base to the bottom of our cloud. Then we'll come back in, grab a little bit of white again, 
And whatever color is up here is what it's going to mix with. Smallest bit. Hey guys, if you're new here, here, this is Josh. I'm London. We welcome. Go live every Sunday, 10 a.m. Welcome, welcome. If by the time you've finished watching this live, you don't like the sound of my voice, you can tune in to <laughs> Just Josh by himself on the Paint With Josh Facebook and yep. YouTube every Wednesday. Every Wednesday we he, do it. He also offers subscriptions through his YouTube channel for $7.99. You get access to over 12 hours of in-depth instructional in video. In-depth. And this is my wife speaking, everyone. She helps out with all of the live videos and tells me when you guys have a comment what you're saying so I can answer you back in real time. There we go. Hello, Roxanne. Thank you, Deborah, for noticing that the blind closed is way better. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Yeah, that's what one is doing. There we go. Just kind of mixing these up. <laughs> now we're going to come back in, drop a little bit more of that dark color, the blue and the black, and really just connect this guy so he's in front of that further away cloud. And we're just going to cover some of the top of that other one. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, if you look to the bottom left-hand corner of your YouTube screen, you'll see what looks like the head of a, bo of a being. Looks like the small head of a human being to the left, babe. To their left. See, it's the top of the Bob Ross wig. Oh, over there. In the camera. Wait, they can see all the way over there? In the camera. Oh, okay. Do you see what I mean? It looks like the small head of a boy. Right. <clears throat> so it's, uh, yeah, it's quite funny. Nice. Put a little bit of our extra white in there, just to brighten up. Give a couple little bit of depthy areas in these clouds. This one's going to be our closest cloud. Right up at the top where we can't even really see much out of him. It's really nice so far. Really nice. How am I not a super fan or a top fan? I'm quite annoyed by this. I'm I don't sure. think you comment enough is the thing. Damn. That's, that's, I'm just Goodness. saying. I'm wow. just saying. Wow. I only, jump, right. I only jump in when reinforcements are necessary. Yeah, right. Let's not even mention that. <laughs> okay, we're going to come in a little bit of liquid white into our phthalo green onto our little liner brush. And we're going to come back in and pop in some stars on this guy. I like to use a yardstick, right? I don't have a big expensive easel that has the thing. I don't even know what it's called. The thing that slides across like those old, uh, like Da Vinci used to use. You know what I mean? I don't have that. I've got a yardstick. I'm on a budget, right? So you can touch your painting literally anywhere you want, as long as there's some space in between that'll give your hand a place to rest, right? So why don't we pop in a couple little faraway stars back in our, our dark areas of our sky, right? They can be bigger, they can be smaller. Some can pop through like the lighter areas of the clouds. You can go all the way down underneath. Just in the dark areas. Boop, 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 beep, boop. Just very quickly, very fast. Doesn't have to be anything. And if you get one that's a weird shape, I'm going to show you something cool, okay? So don't worry about it. You can literally be fast as lightning. Right? Just a few. Pop them off in there. Get them in the dark areas. We're not going to need a whole bunch. Some we might end up covering. You're like, what else are we going to cover in the sky, Josh? Well, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. And if you need to get more paint, you can always go back. Grab up a little bit more. Right? Very, very, very light touch if you want to have them small and far away. They have to be so light. So light. Like, Josh, there's no way the stars would be down that far. Trust me. Trust in me. Okay, we're gonna, now we're going to take our bigger stars, right? The ones that we push too hard on and messed up. Take our one inch brush, again, very softly, just mess with it, just a little, littlest bit, right? We're not gonna do it to every single one, just these bigger ones, so they're a little bit softer and further away, right? They don't all have to be the same brightness or the same size or the same shape. You never know which one's gonna be much further in the distance. This far off little sucker, he could be Millions of light years away, and we would never know. Or these ones could be closer, and the other ones could be further away. You don't, <laughs> you cannot judge distance on stars just by looking at them. <laughs> so again, we're not going to do every single one. We're just going to touch a few, make them further away, make them farther, make them softer. All right, and the other ones can stand out nice and bright. And if you wanted to put like a shining, like a bing little thing with them, all right, I'll show you. I'll show you. 
I'll show you how. Let's take one we haven't touched yet, like this guy. We're going to put our knife right in the middle of the blade, right in the center, and go up and down. Change, right? Middle, center blade, back and forth, and now you get this little bing of a, of a star. Now we, we're going to have to miss that one now. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's decide on where our horizon is going to live. You're like, Josh, why are the stars all the way down beneath all these clouds? Hey, babe. Yeah. What do you rest your yardstick on, the easel or the paint? Uh, you can do either. Like on this canvas, it's a big, thick, pro size canvas. I don't know if you guys can see the side. It's one of the thick ones. So it's sticking out away from my, my easel up here. Normally, I would rest it on this wood piece up here. Um, and that way, you can touch you know, the bottom of my easel and that top wood piece and use it just like the old school easels. Uh, but normally, you know, if you touch it on the edges of your canvas, the corners, the sides, right? We're not gonna mess anything up right here. Same on this side, it's not gonna, not gonna mess anything up, right? This is the edge that barely takes any paint anyway. Even if you tried to cover around it, it's always hard to get it to stick there. So yeah, I rest it on the canvas or the easel, depending on, you know, what we're doing. All right, now we're gonna paint some ocean. And which way, let's, let's get it out of the way now. Which way is our wave going to crash today, guys? Is it going to crash to the right or is it going to crash to the left? Well, let's get it right. Because then I have to, I've got to decide. Let's I'm get... hoping everyone says left because we did right last week, so. I was going to say, are you asking because you care or are you asking because no, yeah, you're being I, curious? I want you guys to say left. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, we're going to throw some uh, far off uh, horizon line back in here, right? It's very, very soft. Right, the less we touch, the less we'll have to fix, right? You can go all the way to the edge. Eric, it doesn't have to be the straightest line, guys. It really doesn't. Eric, uh, Roberta, Hazel, James, they will say left. Left, left this week. Okay. Let's left. go left then. Okay, and remember, we don't need a whole lot of back to our ocean. If we're going to have this big wave and you want to have some beach to, for it to crash on, you don't have to bring all the water so far in, right? It can be just... The smallest bit, and then we put our big crashing wave over because you have to cover some stuff, right? Right, babe? I say it all the time. You do. If you want to have depth, you can't see everything. You have to cover it. Mary Schaefer says left. I'm going to go with left, babe. All right, left it is. Just very softly oh. going over those, and you can see where it's green. It's a little bit more green. Where it's blue, it's a little bit more blue. Over on YouTube, we have Allison who said left. Andrea that said left. You see how I'm using the brush too? I'm not holding it like this, right? We're holding it kind of horizontal so the paint has to blend through all the bristles instead of just that many on the side. You know what I mean? So holding it and dragging it, and then it'll make it nice and soft. And we don't need a whole lot of definition back there. You really don't. It's not the focal point. Well, let's say underneath the moon, it might be a little bit brighter. So we'll make it a little bit brighter underneath there, but we're not connecting it. There's a disconnect from the brights and the darks right here. Uh, oh, sorry. Joshua. I, it makes me feel much better and less nervous. Maybe it's the nerves, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me feel less nervous to burp. Like, you know, you're watching Josh Kirkham yeah. live with Paint With Josh. He's been doing this now for over two years and apparently- And he's he, gaseous. He suffers from <laughs> gaseous nerves. I do. I have, uh, plus the Red Bull, you know. Yeah, I think it's more the Red Bull, less than no. <laughs> okay. Right, so a little bit lighter color over here. Doesn't have to stretch so far. And if you have to push harder, go back, get the smallest little amount of paint. <laughs> you can brighten it up. Kay Campbell says, that's a man thing. What's a man thing? Burping. Oh. Arrogance, ignorance, all the things above. Hey, it's Sorry. a bodily function, ladies. I just, okay. Yeah. I don't know. All men do it. I don't know how men do it so aggressively and violently, where women can be like, Babe, yeah. excuse me. Well, because you guys are embarrassed by it. We're proud. We're like, Ugh! <laughs> that's our roar. Did you hear that burp, guys? <laughs> Did you hear that? That's the best part that's, about it. That's how simple the male brain yeah. is. That's men in a nutshell. Look, we, we, we successfully did something. Be impressed by my grossness. That's a man. <laughs> oh. All right. That's looking really cool. It's looking really cool. <laughs> that thing, we can drop it in right there. Oh, dear. We have a good time, don't we, babe? We do. We could do a loop in it. We could do all sorts of stuff. Oh, we could throw a Kraken in back here. I mean, we really <laughs> could. <laughs> oh, for anyone who's personal Facebook friends with me, we could throw a Kraken in back there. 
It'll make it like nice and foggy. See, that's what you can do too. If you don't have a straight, I mean, mine was pretty straight, but if you don't have a straight horizon, just make it foggy. You get like this mist. No one can tell you that it wouldn't look like that, you know, out anywhere. So, foggy mist, just a little bit. Almost like we're making little, the smallest little softest cloud back there. Babe, it's really cool. We yeah. need a new chair. We need a new chair? Can you do a GoFundMe? Babe, we just go fund me for oh, this yeah, that, chair. Oh, yeah, that chair is This chair's going to kill me at some point. <laughs> it's kind of beat to death, that chair. Okay. I don't want to add too many details back here. I just want to have a little bit of difference in light and color, little disconnects, right? You got your lights, darks, light, dark, light, dark, dark, dark. It's not all one color, right? Because what do we say, guys, my fans? Differences in color. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm sorry, right. that's, that's what I heard in my head. All right, we're going left. Like in everybody else's house. We can feed it back that way. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. All right, so let's make our giant <laughs> wave right here very softly. And then we're going to crash <laughs> over. So our little line is going to... You know what? I want it to crash more. All right, see, this is why. A lot of times I'll take my wave and just make it... Like, I want to see it move in my head, and so then it ends up too far off the side of the canvas. Because I'm in my mind, it's crashing right now. So and before you know it, you have a wall mural. Yeah, right? <laughs> there we go. So we're going to crash all that. So it's going to, to right, left, smash to down. Left, everything you want. And we have to make it curved <laughs> and long enough in order to get it to crash, right? You're so serious. Well, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't, I didn't hear. <laughs> I was singing the Beyonce song, to the left, to the left. And then when you said nothing, you just stared at the camera and said, you've got to have it come this way. And, but, and so I said, why so soon? <laughs> oh, my bad. It's fine. There we go. Welcome to Serious Sundays with Josh. Yeah. Serious Seascape Sundays. Right, all I'm doing is pulling back from the edge of our, our next little, you know, pretend wave that's coming in right on top of this guy, but not trying to cover it all, right? Trying to leave a little bit of, of light and dark in there. Got to have that dark line underneath the next wave to give it a little bit of depth. So don't go too crazy, right? Just kind of pulling it back. And we'll show you over here. Pull it back. And as we get over to this side, it's going back at a straighter angle. So you know we're just using the same brush, same amount of white on it, and just pulling back. Now the water is feeding into this next wave, and then off the sides of this guy, just off the sides of the peak. You don't need to don't need to have much. What's up? Oh, it's not even it's got nothing to do with you. It just go. made me laugh because I put those diffusers out last night on my website. Yeah. Which by the way is the London Candle Company dot com. And they Go yeah. over there and I make nice stuff for you. She even, she even made one for me. How cute. It's awesome. And uh, you can go over there and I sell these diffusers for your car. They're super cheap. They're like $4.50. And it just made me laugh because I have a fragrance called Monkey Farts. Yeah. That smells like bananas. And so <laughs> it just made me laugh yeah. that I was technically selling jars of Monkey Farts on my website. <laughs> and that tickled me. Yeah. It made me laugh. And it's funny. Yep. She has the best smells. I do. At least, at least the more of your fans. Just making these a little bit brighter, guys, that's all. That by my candles can now verify this. In the very beginning, you were like, oh, they smell great. And everyone was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm but sure now do. there's yeah. actual customers here. Roberta's here. Right? All the people that have bought <laughs> London's candles are here. Eric, you live in Michigan. It really doesn't cost that much for shipping up from my website. It's $8.50. And I make ridiculous candles. Yeah, they're really cool. But I also right, have diffusers and wax melts. Shh, I'm selling. Diffusers and wax melts and other cool stuff like reversible octopus plushies that will be released today. Uh, by a good friend of mine that lives here in town. I, my husband Very doesn't even deep. know about that. I don't. <laughs> okay, a little bit of eye right here. All right, we're gonna work it, but try to keep a dark line around the eye, okay? If the line is gonna, is gonna become smaller and smaller and smaller, the more we work it, work but it. we wanna retain work that work. dark line. That's something that I, no one had ever told me, but Bob doesn't say it, you know what I mean? But to give it that bit of rolling water, the top of the water has to be light, the bottom of the water has to be dark, therefore there has to be a dark line there. 
Sam Creel is here. And What's Carl up, Sam? And Chris is here. There we go. Don't need to make the eye too bright. Dog eye. Too terribly bright. And you don't want it to be too big either. We don't need our wave really bright down here in the front. We're just going to pull a little bit of light down from the top like that because it really doesn't need to be super bright. If it gets too bright, you can't make it dark again, as dark as it was anyway. There we go. Nice. I like that. A little bit lighter. Right? And then we can keep adding paint and softening it until we get the desired brightness of the eye. The eye of Waveron instead of Sauron. Right? What's that look like? I was going to take a look back. If you guys ever wonder why I look in the camera, it's because we're I've got a bigger TV over here that uh, shows me the angle that you guys are looking at it at, and that way I can see. I have all this glare from the lights. You guys are the lucky ones. You're really quite lucky. <laughs> I've got to paint blind. You guys get to see what it looks like. So if I'm like this, it's because I'm looking into the big light over where the, the TV is so I can see the wave. I just did something funny on your on your Facebook Live where I tried to interact as my candle company and, you know, be nice. Right. And Facebook said, we have temporarily restricted this ability. And it said at the bottom, disagree with decision. Yes, I 100% disagree <laughs> with the decision. That's funny. <laughs> that looks good. I like it. Okay, we need to... We're going to throw a big rock in here. All right, we could do that now. Let's take a... I keep doing that. I get the, the light brush dark, and then i got to change brushes again. Okay, back to the dark brush. Hey. Black, blue, a little bit of brown. I right, don't need a whole lot of brown because we're going to highlight them in brown, so don't worry. But we could put like a... You know what? we got to do our spray first. Before we do that, let's get that same little bit of white right here, and then we're just going to go crazy. Forget about what's back here, right? Pushing hard, spraying in some, some spray here. Bam, just like that. And now, depending on the size of your spray, that'll depend on the size and shape of your giant stone, right? And then we can just go over it, cover over all the dark bits behind it, and then poof, we've got this big giant rock that the water's crashing into. And that takes away our attention from what's happening back there and focuses it all right in the center, right where we want it to be. And we can even take the beach where I, where I had our, it imagined our beach line is going to be like that, right? So we could do this whole thing as sand or reflection, or we could put more giant rocks in there. We could do all sorts of stuff. Now, why don't we take our guy right here, see if we can't just make him a little softer. And that way we can get our thicker paint to stick on top of it. If it's already goopy and nasty, then you won't be able to get your highlight paint to stick on top of that goopy nastiness. Right? And you can see, again, we have our differences in color. A little bit brighter as it gets to darker. Different blues, different shadows goes down into a darker blue color. You can't have it all be the same. Gotta have differences, babe. Okay, a little black and blue to create our shadowy side. All right, kind of dump it on. And bam, 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 bam. Just like that. We're never going to see everything at night, right? It's all going to be a little dark. So when we mix up our white and brown, we're going to use much more brown, a little bit of white, a little bit of black to dull it all. Basically turns it into Van Dyke brown, which is the darker color browns. I could have just got that out of the palette, out of the old paint box, right? We're going to make these rounded swoops and we're not going to cover everything. Not everything will be seen, right? You're going to have these little bits of dark areas where the the shadow, the light just can't reach, and then poof, there's a little bit of lighter area where the moonlight hit it or something. You know, Allison's, you gotta make up a... Allison says do a reflection. Oh, definitely. We're gonna have some sheen on the... Some sheen, some Charlie. Some Charlie and Martin. And if he ever had a son, I don't know. Did he? I don't know if Charlie ever had a son. Okay, a little bit of liquid white in here to our white, bluish, greenish mixture that we've been using. We're gonna tap it in, and then we're gonna come up just using the corner... Give ourselves some spray. Just the corner though, right? And the harder we push, the more the water kind of tries to reach out. But we're not going to cover everything. We don't need a whole lot. Look at that. Looks really neat. You want to have those dark areas, even though it's not dark, right? That initial light that we put down, this is much lighter. So you want to have those initial dark areas still there. And then we could even take it and mix it up. What do you think, babe? It looks like the thing that Ariel was on. 
saying, part of that world. <laughs> rock, you know what I mean? If I, could, if I could do Ariel, she would be sitting there like that. With her little coconut covered boobs. Babe. What? Can't say boobs on a life. I didn't say the, the bad version. All right, let's see. I don't want to, I want to, I want to figure out what kind of reflection we're going to drop in here. Or not reflection, but a sheen of what's <laughs> happening. Rob Miller says, besides using mineral spirits to clean the brushes, what else do you do to care for your brushes? I just clean them, I beat them dry, I, I dab them. them on a paper towel, and then I set them down on other paper towels in the order that all my brushes go in. I'm very, very anal about it. Um, but yeah, I just set them there. That's it. And, you know, they've kind of frayed a little bit or gone to the the sides a little, but come on, a, a craftsman never blames his tools, right? You can work with anything. I've seen Pay faint with a shoe. Pay <laughs> paint with a shoe. I've seen her do a mountain with a with a high heel before. Okay, so it's not the it's not the the tools. It's definitely not. It's how you use them. That was amazing. I know, and I probably couldn't do it again, even if I tried to mess it up like that. All right, we're gonna pop in a little bit of dark kind of splashing sea foam down here just so we get that real deep shadow and then we're going to switch back to our lighter color brush with that liquid white right not a lot just a little just need it to stick and we're going to come in same thing make all this splash like that right just splashing down yours can look however you want i'm trying to keep mine behind the rock for right now it's really i mean we could splash it in the front there it looks okay. That's all right. I like that. All right, now we're going to have to create this little sheen. So we're going to come over here and kind of decide the, what our water line should look like. Okay. Just like that. Drop in a little bit. And then we're going to pull it straight down. Take our brush. Literally grab it hard pull it down and then we can swipe it over and we get this glossy little bit of kind of sheening reflection. That's just the very beginning. Now we're going to come in with our liquid white onto our knife, back into that same pile, that same na wet, nasty pile. We're going to come in and this is where we're going to get it, guys. Going to get it, going to get it. Mm, mm. Okay. Watch this. And there's a the reason why Josh is a painter, not a rapper. Yeah. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. All the way, all the way down on top of the candle I even hit. Okay, swipe it back into the wave. And you get this little glossy bit of reflective thing. It could be the moon, it could be anything. Anything, man. Come back in with our water again. Just brighten up the edges. Right, I'm trying to leave this edge very dark. There's not even any paint over in this very far corner. I can put my uh, my signature over there if I wanted to. All right, let's start to climb up this wave. Grabbing some of that and just kind of pulling it up the wave. All right, what's happening up here? Just being very messy with it. And as we get over here, our angle is going to change, right? It's more starting to go vertical on that side. And again, they don't all have to look the same. Out here, we're going more sideways, right? It's flatter, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Oh, crap, now we're coming over. We're just doing it with the knife. Nice, messy bit of water line. See if we can't curl them up into there, right? Looks really cool. I went a little bit mad with the knife right there. Make it nice and soft again. Take these guys, see if we can't just very slightly in the same angle. Kind of just feed them up the wave just a little bit. Babe, that looks nice. James Barlage Jr. says, what's Bob saying today? Oh, where is Bob? He's down here. Let's see. You have to have dark in order to show light. See? That's why we're married. It's like I planned it. <laughs> she saying is that why we're that's why we're married? You're the dark, I'm the Oh light. snap. <laughs> London, you know, she's very pale, but she's dark in uh Thanks, in uh, uh 
um, oh, what, a, a sense of humor. You can't you can't deny it, babe. You right. Just trying to cover over that bit of wave back there and add a little bit, but we got to get that arc, right? The arc has to be right. Otherwise, it's not going to look like it's landing down here. It's going to look like it's landing back on itself, which is not what we want. Very soft touching, right? Very softly. You get a little bit of that liquid white, and we're kind of bouncing it in. We can create this little bit of uneven, wavy waterline. I've never done it like this before, but it looks kind of cool. Try it's something amazing. new. Right? It's like little bits of water that are about to fall over. Everything is moving and all these different things. That looks, it's actually really cool. If I can just, if I can get that to happen and not have too many, oh my lord, then it'll probably be the best wave I ever painted. We yeah. do need to have some shadowing in there though. I gotta be honest, babe. It looks like the best wave I've ever painted. We need to have, there we go. Bit of more bit more splash in here so it can all tie in. Hey Eric, what's like debatable? That. Who makes a comment like that? Debatable. What? what is debatable? I don't know. But this is the best one I've ever painted? Maybe he thinks yeah, I have I a don't know. one. Maybe he thinks it's debatable that I have a dark sense of humor. Oh, I don't know. That's true. What is it? Right, because it's like when you write that K. K what? It looks amazing. K that. That's debatable. <laughs> <clears throat> Just making this nice and soft down around the bottom, and then we'll come back again and do our water line. There we go. Just fixing it how I want it. And the more and more you put over it, the more you're going to lose those darks. You can't lose all the dark color, right? You got to have it. Got to have that dark color. Don't lose it all, because you'll never get it back. Even if you have to try to go in and put your own dark in, it never works right. It doesn't ever come out the same. And I'm trying not to connect our, our line, right? It doesn't have to be connected. It doesn't have to show everywhere. You can even get bits that pop out in front of it. <laughs> Light and dark in marriage, LOL. That's what he was debating. Oh. Okay. You're, Just you're little forgiven. bits. You may attend next week. <laughs> Little things that come out or get drawn back, all happening in different places, different times as the water's getting sucked back. That looks really cool. It does look really cool. Should we do the little striations with the with the brush? Or do you think that's good enough? I don't know. Maybe really you should take a vote. I don't know about voting. Okay. No voting. There we go. I'm trying to do make less. this area a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter and brighter, just to catch your eider. Hey. Yeah. It sounded a bit... <laughs> Lame. Eider? Yeah, eider? Yeah. Catch your eider? Just to catch your eider. Sounds like something you used to catch in the 1920s. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong with them? They catch uh, they caught, the eider. They caught your eider. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see if we can't do just a little <laughs> bit of like... Maybe a little bit of shadowing underneath some of these and give it like a little bit of <laughs> lip to it. Eric said, thanks for the invite and honored to join you next week. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Please do. It's awesome having people who comment and talk See, to me. A little bit of lip that the water has to go <laughs> over. A little bit of lip. Again, they don't all even have to look the same. Just differences. Man, that looks good. Just like that. Very easily done. Just don't care. That's all you gotta do. Just let it swipe and whatever is there is there makes it look even cooler. Look at that. Should we do the thing? Should we do the thing? What time is it? Oh man, it's only been a half hour. We gotta do the thing. What thing, babe? The... Oh, right now? No, no, right now? You have other things to talk about, babe. Like, if someone was to buy that painting, how would they receive it in the mail? What do you do to prep your paintings? Oh, we use, paintings? we use totally recycled product. Okay, so every box that we ever get, we save. And then that's what we end up using to ship out to our customers. So it's a reused box, reused packaging, reused everything. Because we love planet Earth, honey. Sorry. For, I was waiting for you there. Yes. 
Yes. Um, no, Josh and I obviously receive due to me making candles and, you know, Josh buying large boxes of gloves and, you know, things like that. We end up with so much cardboard that, you know, the best way to keep it going, I guess it were, rather than throwing it away is to repackage all of our products that we ship out in recycled packaging that we've received. Yeah. And then um, when we moved, we were like, why are we moving cardboard again? Yeah. And then you get a sale, you're like, ah, that's why. Yeah. So everything that we use is recycled. So you're not going to, if you buy from my candle store, don't expect, you know, <laughs> some new. sort of crap pink box with a stamp on it. Why am I going to spend, you know, $25 for shipments of boxes when I already buy stuff that comes in boxes to my house? <laughs> right. You know, so there won't be any garbage when you buy my candle. There's recycled paper, same thing with Josh. We do unfortunately have to get away from the peanuts, but the... Uh, the I use bubble wrap most of the time. Yeah, but any of the peanuts that we receive is because we've received it somewhere else. So rather than throwing those away, we would just put them in the package for you to, to reuse per se. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, that's okay. <laughs> Just change the shape of it a little bit. Get a little slip every now and then. And then we're going to make it nice and soft and messy because that's what the ocean is. A soft, messy mess. You know what you should do Chompy next and week, messy babe? and all sorts. Look at that. All that depth. Yeah, babe, what's up, hon? Because we're doing ski seascapes, right? Yeah, next I could do a... Okay, go ahead. Next weekend, you should just do the canvas all blue. All blue? Right? All blue. No depth, no nothing, right? And then when someone comes back and says, that's not what the ocean looks like, the ocean looks like this, you'll say, no, this is a calm ocean. <laughs> With no movement. No Very beginner. Anything. No issues. Yeah. Right? You, the all stages of the sea. We just, you know, <laughs> the calm sea is not really very impressive. That's why... Yeah, that's what Chubby people, sees well, people like paintings. People like the drama of a crashing wave, you know what I mean? Versus like, that, like it depends. Sometimes you get the the nice soft um, scene that looks really nice. But a lot of times it's better to focus on something, you know, to have foreground and stuff is you need something like this to look at. Trying to shape it with our our swipes to give it that round feel. It's really cool. That's interesting, Dave. What? Uh, David Sutter says, well, I'm thinking, having been raised on the ocean, I like the waves I have down in the paintings above left and right. So he's talking about skull and the one on the left with at the top. This one? No. Without the crashing wave? He said about. he believes that the... Um, uh, the wave is breaking too sharply in this one. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of rolling, but it is what it is. Yeah, but that's the greatest thing about seascapes. Same thing with skyscapes. Sky wow, that's a difficult thing to, to say. Um, skyscapes. But it's just, you know, it's a visual, depending on the colors you use, depends whether it's fact or fiction. Yeah, it could be a psychedelic scene. It could be anything, really. Yeah, it could be on a different planet. It could be, you know. It is what the end user thinks it is, is yeah. what it is. And it's funny because there's a lot of paintings that... Um, Very light touch, guys. So light, because it has to be far away, okay? And initially, we put this little circle right here little blob and we do that because we're going to take our filbert brush and I'm going to have to do it this way and we just with the corner just very lightly disturb it so it looks like the light area where the lightning erupted out of that little cloud back there and don't be like that cloud wouldn't have lightning in it because it's not thick enough oh, come on showing you guys how to paint different things and kind of incorporating them all into this scene right Yeah, that's neat. <laughs> Hazel says, yes, alien world, it could be, says Yoda. Right, says Yoda. <laughs> but it can be anything that you want it to be. There's no, you know, it's kind of like makeup. You don't have a boundary. You know, 
you can do what it is that you enjoy painting. True. And yeah, maybe maybe it is anti-realistic or fictional. Um, but if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Yeah, and it's not, I mean, you know, these aren't, these black canvases that I do apparently make some people, you know, angry that I do too many. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to show people different things that I like, you know, I'm, I'm painting what I like. And I like dramatic scenes with lots of stuff happening. And uh, I like to be able to show people how I would paint those. Just very lightly with the filbert brush, going over some of those, well, every single star, just making a different, you know, some were just touching and pulling away and some were mixing up a little bit more just to make them all different. Okay, but we do need something, babe. Do you think there would be a maelstrom where it would connect? I'm sorry, a what? The the sinkhole, the oh. the, the, the whirlpool, maelstrom. Um, you're too small for me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. All right. Let's ask the audience. Should we do what Josh is thinking of, or should we just call it right here? Let's wait. Because we can call it done as a painting right now, and you can stop if you don't want to do what I'm about to do. But we're going to find out. We are going to find out. Right now I have no suggestions. Now, should we do, should we keep going or should we just stop? That's the question. Joe Greenwood says need something more. Yeah, it does, right? Eric Sherfield says do what Josh is thinking. Hazel right. says put in what you want. David Sutter says do more. Do, don't stop yet, it's only been 42 minutes. I almost reach for my paint thinner cup as my drink. That's a, that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to poison control, the writing yeah. during Paint with Josh's live video this morning. I see what he's talking about, too, about the wave. There will it be. It needs to come like that. Right? Ask him. Yeah. See? Now it's crashing. Doesn't need to turn so much there. Because it's going to come down and crash onto that bit. It's all about how we, how we take the wave and maneuver it. I see it's your means. ways. You do what you want with your ways. Right. Just falling down. Clive Gibson says, shooting star. Oh, I'll show you how to do that. That's easy. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Tanya says, just do it. Keep going. Just keep going. There. Poof, poof, poof. Yeah, David says, check out the angles on your other waves. Well, this one's kind of crashing too close on itself. This one's not crashing at all. This one was okay. Back there, how it's kind of rolling. And this one... I think it's great, babe, but I really think you should stop. I think so, too. On the wave, anyway. They can't all be the same. Stop! You know I mean? Stop it! I have to give it a bit of uh, lighter color. It's, it's kind of all become the same. So we have to give it some differences. It's all about the peak of it too. Where is the peak that kind of decides where it's falling? That's better. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. We can always fix it with some more shadowing. Always do that. Nice and gray. Come back. A little bit of liquid white until I like the way that that's, it looks. Okay, that's what he's saying, babe. He's saying it's too short. What do you mean? The way your wave is crashing, it looks like it's this long. You have all this wave, and then it crashes into a small portion. It needs to go behind the rock. I got you. Yeah. It's okay. Watch this. I'm always watching. I'm like Talking like that? I'm like creepy watching. Look, now it looks like it's swallowing the rock. And if we don't, oh my God. If you can just do it so lightly enough that it looks like it's about to entrench the rock and engulf it in water. Look at that. Yeah, is that better? Yeah, I just think you need to include a little bit of sea foam now. 
We're going to be adjusting the angle of the damn wave. It keeps growing. There we go. Look at that, dude. Yeah, this seafoam down here is going to have to change, which is fine. Right? If we bring the water down. Now we can hit it down on the bottom like it's being, you know, swallowing that rock. And then we'll spit a bit more off this side. And then it's hitting on that side and the top right here. And it should be good. Again, that's where I get into trouble is looking, you know, wanting the wave to move. I want to see it move and crash. And the paint won't do that because it's not a moving picture. <laughs> there we go. Now we got the water crashing down onto the beach. We can pull a cover of some of those. It goes back behind the rock over here too. Now come back with our liquid white and our lighter color. And just very lightly touch, right? We don't need to, we're not trying to smush it all. Just touching very lightly and that way whatever sticks is gonna stick. Don't wanna have too much of like the straight line of the brush like that. Bam, how's that? To whoever was talking, look at that rock. Oh, it's just being swallowed up, it's awesome. Awesome. Okay, and then we needed a little bit of splash off the top of that. I think that will complete right. if you put that splash on Look the top. Look at that! Babe. Let's see. Wow, babe. Right? Looks like it's, you know, you can still see some of the rock inside the water. Like mm -hmm. it's getting chewed up. It's really neat. Really quite cool. What do you guys think? Who was saying, you know, what does that person think now? David Sutter, the gentleman that grew up on the ocean. That's who. Oh, was. David, what do you think now? As I adjust everything. <laughs> that looks even better though, so I appreciate it. And that's what happens. It was funny in the leak. You were like, babe, what do we paint? I don't know. I'll know about 20 past 10. Yeah, right. <laughs> we gotta mix up these that's, guys now. That's the point of coming to these lives. You have no idea what we're gonna do. Right. Look at that. So it's not like you Still can... part of the world. Yeah, right, totally. I don't know if you get that on a sticker. It just sneakily stick Ariel into your paintings. Oh, that's funny. That would kind of like be the difference between an original and a copyright. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh dear. Yeah, that's that that's cool. Bit. You should do a shooting star on the right hand side. Oh yeah, someone said a shooting star. Just above the ocean, the horizon line. David, you speak nothing now. Where did you go? Yeah, right. The yeah, artist adjusted creativity for your pleasure and you have vanished. <laughs> Sharon Jones says, fantastic job. Thanks, Josh, for your expertise. Hey, no worries. Okay, let's do a uh, shooting star. A little bit of liquid light again. Tiny little brush. Just like we were going to make a star, right? So we put it in with some of that thick oil. Blend it out. Where do we want the star to be? I would put it right above the horizon on the right hand side. Okay, remember lower. what we're going to plan though. Over here? No, lower. Yeah, like that. Just like shooting off into the distance. Like? Yeah. Okay, so let's decide we're going to put it right there. So we're going to make a bigger dot than we normally would. Okay. Now we need a clean, dry brush. I'm going to grab it and decide on our angle. You want it going like that? Like it's... Yeah. This way? Yeah. Okay. Not that way. Not going into the ocean. No. Right. The head going that way. Yeah. Okay. So we have to grab it like this. On the edge of our brush, pick your line, push hard, swipe it. Like that. Right? Is that the angle you were thinking of? No? You can tell me. I yes, can fix babe. it. It's oh. perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's it. You just swipe it down. You got your shooting star, just like that. But if you have any other color on your brush, when you go to do that, it's going to leave like a bigger light. So you have to have a clean dry brush, which is why I always try to keep one at least clean. You should do one more. And not used. You should do one more shooting star underneath the moon, shooting up on an angle. Well, we still got to do the... Right. The thing. Just so what, the same... Underneath the moon? No, going the other way. Going that way? Yeah. 
Well done. Bam. Super cute. Just like that. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, now should we do it or should we call it? That is the question. Whether it is nobler to call it. No. <laughs> All right, a little bit of our water line again, then we'll be done with this area again. Now that we've had to adjust some things and change and do all that stuff. There we go. A little bit of differences, little sea foam, little here, little there. Doesn't even have to go all the way to the edge. Very lightly, very, very, very lightly. Swipe it over, bam, look at that. Gotta keep those dark areas though. Don't wanna cover over too much. Janice L. Zondo says, it looks magical, I love it. Oh, thank you. Mm. Roberta Harris says, love it. Hazel says, love it. Eric Sherfield says, nailed it. Nailed it, wait till... Oh, <laughs> I can't say that straight, because that's all I hear in my head. Nailed it. Guys, I had an idea to do like a water tornado, okay? It's gonna, that's why we put these clouds up here. They're closest to us, right? Much closer than the hold ones on. that are further away. Hold on, hold on. And we can take a spout and curve it down okay. into okay. the water back here. And it would look really neat, I think, if you guys want to see it. Or do we stop? You know what I mean? You can do too much. And if you do too much, it's hard to take it away. So do we stop or do we keep going is the question. So sometimes it helps to take a step back and look at it and get London up on camera. No. Mm. <laughs> Stupid. Man, looks neat right now. Susan Byro says, can I do acrylic? Uh, well, I don't paint in acrylic, so I don't, they don't work the same for me. Or at least I don't know how to get acrylics to work like oils. So I'm sure I've seen crazy, you know, acrylic paintings. You know, so there are people that you can learn from. It's just not me. I only, I only do oils. Roberta Harris says a water spout. David Sutter says yes, yeah, spout. All right, let's do it then. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Why? <laughs> I don't know, because I like it the way it looks right now. Right? I can paint you another one like this, babe. But now, we need to have our... <laughs> you think that's what Leonardo da Vinci said? What? I can paint you another one. Don't worry. Yeah, I can paint you another Mona Lisa, don't worry. And <laughs> never got around to it. <laughs> yeah, don't promise things. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a little bit of white. Again, we have all these colors on the canvas, so they're going to come to us the more we blend. Joe Greenwood says, <laughs> maybe a skinny, shiny water spout. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be giant. It's not going to be like the tornado down there. It's going to be small, and here we go. We're going to come out of the top of the cloud, I imagine, and it's going to kind of, here it comes, right? We're going to come down. It's going to be thicker than that, so don't worry. Down, not too far though. We don't need it to come, you know, down too close. But yeah, there it is. And we're gonna make it until it looks how we want it to look. And the more that we mess with it, the bigger it'll get, and then you'll end up with a wool mural. Yeah, <laughs> true. Right, and the closer it comes down here, I want it to get a little bit bigger. And that kind of signifies to me that it's getting a little bit closer too. Look at that. And then we're gonna go back and shadow it and all that stuff. Kind of pulling in from the side just to give it the effect that it's Cylinder. kind of, yeah, and it's rotating. It's not too bad. Uh, not too bad Joe Greenwood says perfect. Yeah, right? <laughs> just like that, thanks everybody, see you next Sunday. <laughs> we're gonna have this little bit of like, you know, thing. it's way back on the horizon. It's kind of cool. Now we just have to make it look like we want it to look. We're going to put a little bit of blue in there, maybe on this side. Got to have it, just got to play with it, right? Never done one of these before. So we're going to try to figure out what makes it look the best. Maybe it needs to be bigger at the top. Or a little bit thicker, wider. Matt Robinson says, oh, cool, nice painting. I'll add this to my to-do list. Oh, thank you. Definitely need to be 
wider on the top. There we go. Remember, it's going to come out of the top of this cloud. This is why we put this cloud up here. So it would look prospectively correct, right? Can't have it come out of this far away cloud and be down here close in our ocean. It's got to look like it's at the same level, and that really does. So I am Prof happy with that. Crafty Chris says, brilliant. That was brave, LOL. Yeah, that's your bravery test right there. Right? Now it's stuck there, and we have to make it look right. Eric which should. is, again, why we've never painted one like this. So, and which is how I like to paint. I don't like to do a, a tutorial a hundred times before I put it on video. That's not fair. Then, I, you know, if I never make a mistake, how can I ever show you guys how to correct a mistake? Bam, 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 Eric Sherfield says, now I think Sharknado. Uh, yeah. But seriously, looking great. Throw like a shark off the side. We could totally get some stickers, a Sharknado stickers. Oh, man. Totally. Okay, you can see how I went from kind of thick to a little bit thinner to a little bit thicker. I'm trying to give it that effect that it's turning, it's getting a little bit closer on this side, right? So it's a little bit fatter as it comes down. And remember, very small amounts. We don't need it to be, you can always add more. You, you can cannot never take, it, take away. it away. So a small amount of paint. You can keep widening it as far as you want until it looks right. Andy Controlli says, looks great, Josh. Thank you, Andy. All right, and then we'll take some of the white and liquid white and see if we can't kind of create this rounded look to it. And then we'll keep blending it until we like the way that it looks. All right, maybe like a downward sideways pull. Change it at different angles and stuff. But it can't all be the same color, right? It's going to have little differences. Dark area, light area, right? Oh, if our moon's on this side, I'm going to highlight this side of it in different spots and then try to really shadow the other side to make it look kind of 3D. Get those little drag marks around it, right? Kind of looks cool. You never know. You could. It needs more foam, though. But now the, now the, give it, the bigger it comes, the closer it's going to look, you know, to seem to us. which is, you know, going to bring our scene in, which is why I liked extending, making this wave a little bit bigger. That was a good idea. Going to drop a little bit of black on this side, in the shadowy side. Mix it in with that blue. Right? And it doesn't really have to be a perfect thing because it's all spinning about. So, like, if you get a little bit of water spike, you know, they come out the side, that's fine, right? It's never all perfect. Blend it in over there. Trying to make it look round. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Look at this. Oh, if we just tap our brush in like that. See that? How I'm doing it? Tap, tap, tap. Kind of dumping in all the color like we would be making a, a brush. Look at that. Okay, now this is the trick. Now that it's dark enough, we need the littlest bit of that light color to go back over it. See what I mean? Little drags like that. Just to leave, and I don't want it to be half and half. I gotta have, you know, it's gotta be different. Maybe all, maybe almost all of this side is covered. And then we get up here and it kind of dips. And then over here we might cover a little bit more. Right, kind of mushing it with the black. Now I'm getting too much black on my brush. I'm watching the color change right in front of my eyes. There we go. Maybe down where it bends, there's more shadow, and then it, you see more light. We can try to make it round. And we'll just mess with it until we like the way that it looks, right, babe? Yep. Look at that. It's starting to look neat, guys. starting to look neat. That was a bravery test for sure, though. So thank you to whoever said that. Here we go. I don't want it to be all the same. I don't need the shadowing to be all the same. We just want to be able to tell this is very straight. There we go. Just want to have it different in places, right? What do you think, huh? Differences in color, you mean? Yes, differences in color and, and roundness, right? Like here we're going one way and over here we kind of have to change our angle. And then here we kind of got to change our angle again. And that should make it look, you know, round. 
Hopefully. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What if we threw like a couple little little bits, right? There's always little bits of water like flying out there. Okay. What's that look? Just yeah, just little. You can even do them in the front. I'll come across the thing. And just kind of make it messier. Man, that looks that's starting to look cool. Maybe we could do a couple of those on the inside. Have it messier. Ooh. What do you think, babe? I think it looks amazing. I think we're done. Cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Can we travel? Yeah. We're gonna go flying over to this city, and then I'll get someone that says, uh, you know, if there was a storm like that, <laughs> there wouldn't really be birds in the area because the pressure would have pushed them out, brah. I go, I know, brah, but it's just part of my signature, brah. <laughs> I gotta do it, brah. I was like, oh, really? Okay, let's put our guys over here. Now I do the I do three birds in my painting as part of my signature because they are me, my wife, and my daughter. So we get a little baby bird at the end. She always complains that she's not big enough in the paintings, right? Me, my wife, my daughter, they go into every painting as part of the signature. And that way, you know, without even having to look that it's mine, right? Roberta Harris says, do the birds anyway, it's your world. Yeah. Indeed. True. Let's put our signature down here this time. Just like that. Bam, bam. I cannot wait to see if any of you are brave enough to throw in a water spout. I really can't wait to see it. It's going to be fantastic. You guys don't even know how much London and I light up when, uh, when we get a, fa a picture sent in of someone who's done one of the videos. And we're like, oh my God, babe, look. Isn't that the best? Dang, that looks good on Facebook. Holy cow. The video's kind of choppy, but that looks fire. Maybe we need to have a little bit more, like one area that has mostly lighter. No, that's it. I mean, how's it? If this side, there we go, was in the front, maybe there wouldn't be a shadow on it, right? That would look really cool. I'm just looking back at the... No, babe, it looks amazing. Yeah. Just no. like that. Now, yeah. The only thing I would say is take a little bit of the dark and put it on the left-hand side to give it depth that it's coming. Where? On the left-hand side of the spout. No, down. Right there. Okay. Just in the corner of that crease to give that... In there? Yep. Like that Man. Eric Sherfield says, it's lit, Josh. It's lit. Joe Greenwood says, love it, Josh. Roberta thank you. Harris says, it's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It connects into the cloud, though. How's that? It's got to be, like, a little bit brighter, right? Looks amazing. Joe. 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 Oh man, guys, I love how it's dark over here too, because the shadow, right? Oh man, oh man, that looks good. All right, we're gonna take the little bit, throw and pull it out over there, and then we're gonna try to make it really soft just by going over it with the brush, right? We've already blended it a whole bunch, so now I'm just trying to make it soft, kind of following those swiping angles, and now it's just a little softer back there. It looks lovely. Looks fantastic. Look at that, it's even so light that we can go across the entire thing and not drag anything from our... Oh, man. Do we need more shadow down here, though, is the question. Right? We're down in the, in the base. Ooh, look at that, just from doing that. Right? And it can be very messy when it comes to the water. It's not a, oh my God, look at that. It's like the thing is like it hit and then push the water like a like a meteor exploding. It's got these waves that are coming out. My hell. Are you okay, babe? No, that's a that's one of my favorite. Uh, that's it. I'm not doing anything else. 
Ever? I'll never paint anything as cool as that. <laughs> Unless I put a kraken back here. Should I do a kraken? <laughs> Babe! <laughs> Oh, man. Man, guys. Hey, well, tell me if you've ever seen a, uh, a tutorial about a water tornado. I, I want to see it. Uh, besides that, man, this one came out really good. I hope you guys really tried. I really hope someone's brave enough to try to try to get that water spout right into your, your painting. It's really, I've been thinking about this one for like two weeks, and I've been too nervous to uh, attempt it. And I've wanted to practice it, and I was like, no, nah, I can't do that because my fans, man. i got to show you guys in in real time, in real life, how I would do something just right off the top of my head. Mm. <clears throat> and we're done. You did a great job. <laughs> what did you say? I said you did a great job. Okay, thanks, babe. Yeah, I love how we can see the rock inside here. And we didn't cover over all of it. You can just kind of see, you can imagine the, the transparency of the water like that. I love our eye, it's not too bright. It's really great. The little the, the technique with the with the fan brush to give those little water ripples, right? It's I love it. I love it. So for anyone who's new here that hasn't watched before, Josh does have multiple affiliate links. One of them is the Amazon shop front, Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash happy landscape. Art. Art. I'm yeah. sorry. Happy I was landscape staring at art. something. Uh, yeah. happy landscape art. Um, Josh does make a few pennies off whatever you buy using that link, even if you don't purchase from his store. Uh, so if you are an avid Amazon user, please use that link because the pennies do add up. Yeah, right. They give uh, me like, what, like 0.5 of a percent of what you buy. So go on and buy a yacht and yeah, then I actually, lovely. you know, might make a few pennies. Uh, if not, and you just want to generally support Josh, you can go over to Woo! Patreon where you can get content that isn't available on any True. other social media Patreon. platform. I have our, our uh, YouTube class videos, right? So there's a few here like this one or maybe one behind the easel over here where uh, you, it's, you know, it, it, there's a very in-depth video. We zoom in. It's very close. It's very much more explanation I'm not uh, than our normal videos. Yeah, it's just me up here. So you won't hear London in them. And that's seven ninety nine through my YouTube channel. Uh, and then YouTube pays me. So... You know, I get a little cut out of that seven ninety nine. But the more people that we get, you know, the more it's just going to grow. It's going to be great. But you have, I think there's 16 class videos now. Pretty sure. And I keep adding a video per month and the price will never go up. So it'll always be the same. And, uh, you know, I invite you to try it out for one month and see. It's it's seven ninety nine. Try it out. See if you like those videos. If they help you, it goes from the very absolute beginner, you know, level zero through to where you'd be painting stuff just like this in no time. So, but uh, yeah, we, I'd love, I'd like to thank all the members that pay for the channel. Uh, you guys support really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. And um, yeah, any new people that we get, we're going to love and we try to learn your name and interact with you and answer your questions and write back to, I'm writing back to people sometimes in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? Not going to bother me. If you've got a question, or if you're trying one of my paintings and you just can't get it figured out and you need to, you know, or this, you know, I had an idea for that and it just didn't work. I try to help you out as much as I can when I can. Right, babe? Uh, yeah. And if your eyes are pleased, then you should head over to the London Candle Company and get something for your nose. Yes. You should Go to London's. London makes these delicious candles. They smell lovely. They look like decadent desserts and uh, they're really fantastic. So go to the, the London Camp... The London Candle Company. Can I go get one? Yeah, definitely. Dot com. And uh, I'll continue washing my brushes. But yeah, we have, you know, they smell fantastic. I think we have 12 different scents that you can choose from. And for anybody who doesn't know why I keep bending over, we have a beater bucket down in the bottom here. It's got one of these kind of bags to keep the bucket clean so I don't have to keep buying new buckets, right? And it's got an old golf ball basket down in the bottom of it. That's what I had in my garage when I first started painting. And that's the same golf ball basket that I'll probably have for the rest of my life. It just gives me a few uh, different surfaces to beat the brush on like Bob would do in his, in, his, uh, in his show. Spray it all over the studio, right? I'm trying to keep my walls clean and the other paintings. I can't be beating the brush like that. I put your so, candle, babe. Oh, you brought a candle? Oh, there it is. What's this one? Be loving. Whoops. don't want to drip paint there. Be loving. And this one's... Oh my goodness. Like you want to eat it. Look at that. 
It's like icing on top of a of a cake. I also bought a diffuser up for Ooh, you. that's cool. That's and a these, jar, it's a jar of monkey farts. <laughs> here's, a, here's a jar of monkey farts, right? What you do is you get the rope wet and uh right, and then you kind of pull it through. Hang on, can you let me let me finish washing my brush. It's perfect. Just keep my product to the screen, babe. That's right. perfect. That's perfect. Just like this. Okay, so what you have to do, <laughs> tell them how to use this, babe, while I'm showing it off. So this is a small diffuser box. You can hang them from your rearview mirror or any sort of small room. It has fragrance inside. True. And then I gotta when, wash you, this other one. Can you hold it? when you purchase one, it obviously gets to you empty. Um, you get a tiny little container that contains the fragrance. You pour it in, tip it upside down, and then replace the stopper. So when your rope stops smelling of monkey farts, then you just repeat the same process. Yeah, and you'll get a, a, a QR code with instructions. You scan it, it'll pull up on your phone, and it'll tell you how to take the top off, how to slide the rope, how to get it wet again, and how to secure it. So that way, it's just this constant kind of aromatherapy thing dangling from your mirror, and it looks yeah. kind of cool. Sorry. It looks like a jewel. What's a, what's a, it what's has a yellow little... jewel? I don't know. It has little butterflies in it, which is kind of cute, too. Oh, my hands are, like, super big on camera. <laughs> You're too close. But, yeah, go to the LondonCandleCompany.com. I know Roberta and Anne McCarty Shroy and uh, Annette, Annette and Tanya. Tanya and all these people have bought London's candles. They can attest to the, the quality and uh, the shipping. The way we package them is very good, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. I mean, you can never be 100% guaranteed to ship perfectly, but we take all the precautions that we can in order to get your candles there safely. I had a bad day and just stumped on my bones. I had a painting where I the know, UPS guy know. stepped on it. He stepped it like a, what I, you know, I don't think it was malicious, but he may have dropped it and then in the process of trying to grab it, it fell and he stepped on it. And it put a, a gash about the size of a foot right through one of my paintings that someone had bought. And I ended up having to send them a, a different painting uh, for free out of my own dime because the UPS guy screwed up. And then I had to go get the claim and start all that nonsense. There's only been like three times out of like 300 that I've shipped that have been damaged. So it's like 1%. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's a good percentage. And the way that we wrap them anyway. Yeah, for sure. And you'll get them in reused packaging. No. Yeah, recycled. No rubbish, you know. Here's a box that you're going to throw away. Right, so here's a custom. The nicest box that you possibly have ever Here's owned. a custom box I paid for with my logo and everything on it that you're just going to trash. Yeah, you're just going to throw away anyway. Thank you. And like who really, if it's, it's, if it's for marketing purposes, it's only really like the four or five mail carriers that touch the package that are going to see, yeah. you know, your logo on a box. Like that just seems like a waste of money to me. Yeah. But anyway, now if you don't like wax or you don't like my wax melts or anything along those lines, you can go to my website and you can buy a jar of monkey farts <laughs> or a jar of coffee or a jar of, jar of all sorts of spell. stuff. Uh, I have Dragon's Breath, which is Black Cherry Merlot. Ooh, it's lovely, too. Um, I have Roasted Toasted, which right, is coffee-flavored. Coffee-flavored. I have to stop with that. So look, I, I got the brown out because I was going to do, like, a brown sandy beach, but and no. I don't know why I even thought that. I liked it for the rock, though. Sorry, go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> um, these Be Loving, Be Humble, Be Patient. That was a very cool. Or, uh... They're all coffee flavored, so it's coffee on the bottom, hazelnut coffee on the top. It Ooh. is a special edition. It's not, I do not stock hazelnut coffee. Um, so it is like a one time from yeah. a sampler that I bought from the company I buy my fragrance from. Um, I think they should it, come on camera and tell them. It is perfect together. No, I'm not coming on camera. Everyone wants to see I don't you. don't care. I'm not coming all on right. camera. Got that all cleaned up in that whole, where's all my paper towels? I have no paper towels left. Really? Well, that's just a tragedy. Got all the cleanup done in the time we were talking about uh, thingies. Now, should we add some blue glitter to this painting or no? I would. Let's see. Take our paint thinner because we're gonna, probably going to paint soon. So I just try to clean up the area. Get that, when we smush it out real thin like that, then it will dry very fast, become very hard and hard to get off. So try to clear the areas that we worked in. And that way, next time I go to paint, I won't have to scrape up so much, right? Jennifer, that is a water spout. 
It was a that's a water. recommendation out of Facebook. Just wanted to do one. <laughs> I, I had an idea. I had an idea for it for a while, and I wanted to get it out there before someone else tried to steal my idea and do it. So, and I was kind of nervous about how it would come out, but it, it came out pretty good. It's all about having your clouds way up top, right? If I did it on this one out here and it landed here, it wouldn't look right because those clouds are very far away. These ones here are very close. So it's all about where you put your stuff, right? Perspective. All right, well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and hanging out with us and learning how to paint this wicked awesome scene in just about an hour. And, uh, you know, if you didn't want, or if you didn't like the water spout, then uh, why does it look like that on the camera? What do you mean? Oh, it's because of this thing. It's like too close in color on that camera over there. Oh, because it looks like it's smudged? Yeah, it's weird. Let's get the smallest amount of white paint. Just cool. put like a little disconnect in there like that, and that way we that can see. That looks like a little reflection from the moon too, that's cool. Yeah, we can see that there's a little disconnect, and then I don't want to have to wash my brushes all over again. Thank you so, so much yeah. for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for... Man, I think we should do some more of that, though, really. Okay, come on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Here. Uh, also, if you don't, the shadow wouldn't be on that side, babe. Oh, there's a little glare because it's rounded. Ah, uh, right. It's like a little sheen. Ah, uh, got it. Because it's rounded. Um, so you know about Amazon. If you want to buy any of Josh's stuff, you can go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can also visit paintwithjosh.com. Um, um. Yeah, paintwithjosh.com. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Like me on yep. Facebook. And, uh, you know, we'll see you when we see you next time. Hang out on Instagram. Oh, sure. and by the way, if you uh, are interested in a video, a personalized video from Josh. Oh, we are they, now. Can they get that, babe? Yeah, we are now on, um, uh, what the heck's it called? Cameo. Cameo. So if you want to get a personal call, right, or if you, if you know somebody who really likes my paintings, but maybe they're a little older and they don't know how to comment on YouTube or they have trouble, but you want to get them something nice, you can, you know, with Cameo, you can get calls uh, from different people. So you can basically pay for me to call and wish someone a happy birthday or encourage them not to stop painting and that they should keep going or, you know, hey, I, I know you watch my videos, this, some, some this, that, the other. It's, to, people do stuff on Cameo for all different kind of reasons. So, But if you need a little motivation yeah. in your life. Yeah, well, I can call and you can chit chat with Josh, right? We should call it chit-chatting. <laughs> Chit-chat with Josh. All right, there we go. I don't want to do too Beautiful. much. Looks Thanks, great. guys. All right, well, guys, we'll see you. See next you. Sunday. Now, see you on Wednesday. I have a brand new okay. tutorial coming out on Wednesday uh, of a big old tree growing out of an old kind of decrepit cottage. Flowers all over it. It's like it's being swallowed by the flowers. It looks really cool. Uh, so I have that coming out on Wednesday. And we're going to be live again next Sunday for Sunday Seascapes Episode 3. And maybe we'll do a white canvas and sunset, something like that. Sweet. Yeah. And we'll figure it out as we go. That's what I like to do. Love to figure it out and not plan and show you guys that you don't need to plan either. You can really do it just kind of on the fly. As long as you know, you know, some of the, as, you, as long as you learn the techniques that I've taught you and you understand what they will do, then you can do anything, right? We did a water spout. You could do anything. You could really do anything as long as you know how the paint is going to react, right? So you need practice. And you need the know-how of how it's going to move, and you can be able to literally move the ocean, move mountains, move clouds, move your world, right? So, quote, quote that. <laughs> but, all right, uh, we'll say goodbye. You guys take care. Have the rest of a good day. We have to go do a lot of heavy lifting, and it's going to be fantastic. So, you know, I can't wait to see your guys' versions of this painting. Really send them in. I really want to see who's brave enough to try that one. And... Um, and see what it looks like. So I hope I was able to convey easily enough, you know, for you to kind of copy it and look exactly the same. So in my mind, but besides that, we'll stop blabbing on and we'll say goodbye and you guys have the rest of a good day and then we'll catch you on the next video. Boom!